Hey, Imagine Dragon 7th grade, how you doing? This is Mrs. Hertzberg visiting you from the interweb or the internet. Anyways, you know where to find me now. That's right, you can find me all the time through ManageVac. That is gonna be the main way we communicate during this quarantine of the coronavirus. So let's talk about what this looks like. First off, I hope you're all doing well. And please know that I miss you, Mrs. Eddie misses you, Mrs. McCracken, and Mrs. Wong, and all of your staff misses you, Mrs. Charles. And we're sad that we're not getting to see you in class. But we have to move on and we have to teach you the new format that you're learning in. So follow me along on this. First, you're gonna log into ManageBack and you're gonna see everything posted for you. That's awesome. So all I need you to do is click on your class and design. If you look at the calendar on Wednesday, March 18th, <laughs> you will already have seen that I have posted work that you can do for the 18th, 19th, and 20th. It doesn't matter when you do it on the 18th and 19th and 20th, as long as you log into ManageBack every day, you get accounted for attendance, and then you can do the work that I have posted. Every teacher is gonna do the same thing. But remember, all of that work must be uploaded into ManageBack before Monday the 20th at 8 a.m. All work, it has a due date then, but you can turn it in whenever as long as you don't miss that 8 a.m. due date on the 20th. Does that kind of make sense? We'll post work this Wednesday and it's due on the 20th by 8 a.m. Now, I really recommend you all make a schedule. I already received this awesome picture from Sky Hernandez that she had made a schedule for herself to follow. I love that. And I recommend all of you do the same thing. I know here in our house, the Four Georges and the Queen of Four Georges, we are on a tight schedule to make sure everybody gets their work done and I get time to work and work with you all. And King George there, he has his own job and needs to work here at home as well. So keep that in mind that a schedule is a really great way. Once you see everything posted on Wednesday for all your classes, you can prioritize them and do the work as you feel need. Maybe you do 30 minutes of each class a day. Maybe you do 45 minutes. You decide what works for you, but make sure you get that, week, that work done during the week so you can enjoy the weekend. Okay, so that's the first thing. Now to tell you about what we're doing. This week, we're just going to do a short lesson on criteria involving criteria A, and it's all about the coronavirus. I thought what better way to connect you with what's currently going on in the world. So it's easy enough. I've posted slides for you to follow. We're just going to go through each strand of, of criteria A. So remember criteria A is inquiring and analyzing. I think this is a great thing. We get to learn about the coronavirus and solve a problem with it. So one, I just want you to state what is the coronavirus? Do your own research. If you look in the slides, you'll see I've given you some um, tabs to click on or some links to click on that'll provide you lots of information. Next, you're gonna explore a problem you could solve during the coronavirus. Is it that you're bored at home? How could you solve that problem? Maybe make a new game? Remember, I'm just asking you to research. I'm not asking you to make a new game. Although I do like Monopoly. Or what about the food shortage? Could you create a solution to how people are gonna deal with the food shortage um, that we may or may not run into? Or a schedule, how are you going to keep up with your daily schedule for schoolwork? I don't know, but I want you to explore any problem that you foresee coming with the coronavirus. Then once you explore, um, explain the problem, then you're gonna look at, well, who could I interview and research about this? You're gonna give me a list of five people you could interview. Keep in mind that it has to be realistic that you can't go really interviewing anyone in person unless they live in your own home. So you're gonna write down those that you can communicate with online or you could choose people in your own home. Then you're gonna make a list of questions. What are questions you could ask them about how they would solve that solution? Get an idea for it. You can make a list of 10 questions and just prioritize them, one to 10. What is the most important question to the least important question? 
After you do that, you're going to move into, let's say we've had inquiry, we've had um, explain the problem, and then you're going to compare it to other solutions. That's where Access FM comes in. If you click on the Word document I gave you, and please make sure you contact me if you're having problems with any of the documents I posted. Communication is so key when we're on an online course like this. So you're going to look at the document. I made a graphic organizer. I put a chart in there where you can come up with three other, um, you take three other solutions that already exist and you go through the chart and answer the questions about them. So if I said I have to deal with boredom and how will I keep myself entertained during this time, maybe I am gonna create a board game. Well then other existing products that exist would be other board games. How do they work? Who do they connect with? What's the age range? That's where Access FM comes in. Remember, we have aesthetics, cost, customer, environment, size, safety, function, and material. You can answer all those questions about products that you already know about. Then after that, you have a design brief. But don't worry, this is not a large design brief. All I want you to do is give eight to 10 sentences that really sells the idea that you came up with, what your solution for this problem would be. It's really not that bad, and you can use all the persuasive techniques that Mrs. Eddy has been teaching you and is about to teach you for Chew On This. Hopefully that makes sense to you. But I'm gonna go back to my statement just a couple minutes ago. Please remember that communication is key during this time. Email me. Um, if you really feel like you need to talk to me, I will connect with you through Zoom. I will set up a chat where we can video conference. Um, we can add other people in, um, but this work is all individual. And remember how important academic honesty is. I'll know if you collaborated with other people because you'll turn in the same work. And now that we're on online schooling, this is individual. So I hope all that makes sense. I hope you enjoy this first video, which is probably rather long, but I'm really learning this new format myself. And I just really want you to know, I miss you. And if y'all need anything, if you're struggling at home, you don't have technology, or you just need someone to talk to, I'm always here. Just reach out to me and I'll be happy to talk to you. Okay, miss you guys. Love Mrs. Hertzberg. Ah!